All right, I saw the equation there, you know, kitchen counter, whiteboard marker, and if it's a damp and the zinc. So, I kick it off now. I will move from polar to polar to rectangular. Rectangular form. Okay? Polar to rectangular form. So, polar form is the impedance and angle theta. Alright? So, you wrote them different. Impedance and angle theta. So, we're going to assume that Impedance is 10 ohm with an angle of 36.87 degrees. And impedance, which is Z, and we term it as the magnitude and the direction, which is 36.87. So we're going to move from, from there. And you know, um, the rectangular farmer is equal to says c is equal to r plus xl on the Im imaginary plane and remember this formula is derived by pythagoras theorem where where c which is the hypotenuse is equal to a plus b right so would have C which is impedance is equal to A which is resistance which is resistance and B would be equivalent to XL would be XL right here alright so now <coughs> to find R well we have Z we have Z and we need to find R and XL on the vertical axis on the imaginary axis so we just draw the diagram to show that so Z 10 ohm this plan would be R, pure resistance, we have 0, and then we have XL. So, angle theta, angle theta would be 36.87 degree. Thirty-six point eight seven degree angle theta. If we need to find R, that means that we we need to penetrate R, the angle, and Z. So we can only use these two units to derive R and whatever else we need. So what we can say now, R is equal to Z cosine theta. Z cosine theta. And look at how it is practical now. R, which is the opposite. Opposite. No, it's adjacent, sorry. R is adjacent. Opposite. Hypotenuse. So if we want to incorporate R and V. Right? We need to find a trig trig rule that would enable us to do that. So we have tangent equal opposite 
over adjacent and then cosine cosine adjacent over hypotenuse sine is opposite opposite over hypotenuse so look at the ratio tangent opposite over adjacent cosine adjacent over hypotenuse sine opposite over hypotenuse and we need we're gonna use here z angle theta and r so adjacent over hypotenuse that's the one we're gonna choose so that would be cosine z adjacent over hypotenuse so that's the reason why we have r is equal to z cosine theta right that simply mean xl is equal to opposite over hypotenuse xl we are dealing with the opposite and hypotenuse right so that would be z sine theta look at that again c is equal to r plus j xl so we have to find r and xl using the trig rule so finding xl it has to be sine right z sine theta over there so therefore R plus J imaginary inductive reactants is equal to Z Z cosine theta plus J that represents imaginary D sine theta then we start to fill in the digits now so z is equal to 10 ohm 10 ohm all right then we go for sine theta that will be cos theta is 36.87 36.87 Bracket that Then plus J Imaginary 10 Bracket Sine 36.87 degree bracket and so we we'll break it down further it will be 10 bracket cosine cosine of the angle theta would be <laughs> 6.87 equal 0 0.799 No, I mean that Plus Sine 6 would be 0 0.60 Sine 6 Sine 36.87 0 0.6 Zero, and then now ten times point seven nine nine would be seven point nine nine plus J ten times point six zero would be J six. So this will be the answer. 
That will be the answer. So R is 7.99 and JXL will be 6. 6 ohm. And you don't add these. Do not add these. Do not add these. Because 7.99 is on the real plane, which is of pure resistance, and 6 is on the imaginary plane, right? It's on the imaginary plane, so those two resistive values must not be added, because one is pure resistance and one is based off impulse.